First person singular, views expressed are those of the author. Mike Frenari talks about hot rods and housing. When I was in high school many years ago, my friend inherited his grandfather's 1931 Model A Ford five-window coupe. If you're not familiar with this car, I can tell you it was a popular platform on which to build a hot rod. The fenders, running boards, bumpers, and anything that might be considered excess weight were quickly removed from my friend's inheritance. It looked faster, but power was provided by a small, factory-equipped four-cylinder engine. Any authentic hot rod of the day needed to be powered by a V8, and one was soon obtained. It didn't take long to realize that a V8 was much larger and heavier than a factory four. Modifications were needed. The frame needed to be reinforced. The transmission, drive shaft, and rear end all needed to be upgraded to accommodate the torque of the more powerful engine. The suspension and brakes were woefully inadequate and the tires were too small. The point is that significant infrastructure upgrades were needed. You can't just drop a V8 into a Model A and expect it to function properly any more than you can add thousands of housing units to a small city and not expect to make some serious upgrades to infrastructure. Massive population growth requires more than new high-density high-rise apartment building. It's part of the planning process and it has not been done here in Santa Cruz. Mike Finari is a resident of Santa Cruz and concerned about uncontrolled growth. If you would like to hear this or other pieces, go to ksqd.org forward slash first dash person dash singular. For first person singular, this is Matilda Rand.